There's your camera right there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Which camera? Which camera? I know. This is Casey. Come here, baby. Come here, come here. This is Casey. Casey is three years old, along with Monica, who's a little bit older than three. <laughs> barely. But just barely, barely, with the Humane Society. And we have Casey because she is ready to go home and be a f go to somebody who wants to take care of her forever. Yes. So you came by her because someone gave her up. Yeah, she was an owner surrender. It was a situation where somebody had given them the dog. A friend mm -hmm. gave them this dog. They weren't you know, ready to maybe make that commitment. Um, you know, in Casey's case, she does require a little bit of extra. She needs some regular grooming. Mm -hmm. um, she has a little bit of matting back here. You know, just, um, she needs to be an indoor dog. Right. She needs, you know, companionship. She's very sweet and affectionate. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> she wants yes. to climb on your shoulder. I know, I know. she's like, <laughs> Give the, me a kiss. we've only met just a little while ago. I don't normally kiss on the first <laughs> date, uh, but uh, uh, thank you for that, I, sweetheart. She's so pretty. We hope someone picks her up. We're going to talk more about Casey in a second, but we also want to remind people about the importance of microchipping and that sort of thing. It, it really is a time of the year when right. we really need to make sure we can have our animals ready to be identified. Absolutely. And what a lot of people don't realize how small it is. It's only about the size of a grain of rice. Mm -hmm. And there's actually such a thing as a microchip, which is even a little bit smaller for yeah. puppies and kittens, maybe really small breeds. So it's going to be implanted by your vet, hopefully, um, right kind of between their shoulder blades. And what that does is it just emits a radio frequency ID number. So when we scan a pet with a microchip, it's gonna emit a little signal and it's gonna pop up with an ID number. And then we call the microchip company and they're able to contact that pet owner and let them know where their pet's at. And it's really important to make sure that you register your microchip Absolutely. Because I know some yes. people do that. <laughs> at Houston Humane Society, we actually register the chip info at the time of adoption okay. or at the time that you purchase the uh, chip being implanted in your pet at our clinic. Mm -hmm. um, because we do know that's the most important part. If you don't, if you don't register it, it doesn't do any good. Right. Um, and keeping that information up to date. So if you change phone numbers, maybe you change job and your email changes. Um, think about those things. Make sure you update the microchip company with any of those edits as they come along just throughout life. Mm -hmm. um, especially when you consider the life of your pet, maybe 12 to 15 years. In cats, somewhere upwards of 20 years. And um, smaller dogs like this tend to live a little longer, don't they? They do. For the most part, tend they to. do. And we think Casey is probably like a Yorkie mix. Mm -hmm. um, um, maybe a little Shih Tzu or something in there. Whatever, she is 100% adorable. And she, oh, absolutely. <laughs> She's like, okay, which side is the oh, cutest? Oh, who, me? <laughs> yes, I know. Um, she's Very about three years old. And then the only thing I would remind people is a, a chip is not a GPS. So keep those collars and tags on. Your neighbor might be the first one to find your pet. They're not going to have a chip scanner. They can right. get your pet home pretty fast. Talk about your event coming up. Okay. Yeah. Today. So today, every Sunday in June, including today, from 10 to 2, we're doing a microchip and vaccine clinic to help people people get their pets prepared. It's hurricane season, we want to get everybody ready in case the storm does come this so way. So people can bring their pets to... They can bring their pet, no appointment needed, there's no office visit fee, it's $45 and you're going to get a microchip, we're going to register it for you, and you're going to get a full round of vaccines, so you're ready if you have to evacuate and go into a shelter perhaps with a lot of other animals around. That is Christmas come early for yes, pets. Yes, absolutely. Pet Casey's ready for you today, go by the Houston Humane Society from 11 to 5.30, 14700 Almeda Road in Southwest Houston. You can also see animals in need of a family. Go to our Adopt a Pet section on clicktohouston.com. It's under the Consumer tab. We'll be back after this. Stay with us.